Okay, my f All right, my friends, we're back at Guitar Center here. And I am trying a uh, Epiphone, I mean not Epiphone, a uh, Yamaha. Not plugged in, but it's got built-in chorus and reverb. Check this out. <laughs> There's a little bit of the chorus that's in there as well. Uh, it's incredible. So yeah, that is the Yamaha. Here's the model number. And there's the price. Beautiful guitar. I'm gonna grab right now the uh, Breed Love. Is a travel guitar. A little bit. Now this is the mahogany back and sides. Nice small body here. I think it's called African, the wood is called African mahogany. So let's see how that sounds. Let's see if I got this right. Yep, solid African mahogany. Flat matte finish. Now this is made out of myrtle wood. This is what this is. Uh, yeah, figure. Yeah, they're doing a lot of them with myrtle. Oh yeah, yeah. One thing I like about Breedlove guitars is that if you get on their website, they used to have 
I'm sure you still have it, where you can have the guitar that you want, let's say if it's a passport, and then they have icons of what it would sound like with a different type of wood, so you tap on that icon. And I think all they're doing is either strumming an E major chord or just open strings, so you can hear what each wood is going to sound like and its combinations of the top, back, and sides. I think that's a great idea because, well, great idea. yeah, it's just a, you know, but for these guitars that are under a thousand dollars, it's incredible. Oh, they've come so far. Yeah. This is what, 749, 750? Mm -hmm. It's a nice little guitar. You don't have to spend a lot of money. Not, not nowadays, you don't have to spend No, it's money. changed. It's changed dramatically. It's when, I heard, when I started doing the full business uh, 50 years ago, oh, wow. it was ridiculous what you had to pay to get a decent guitar. Oh, yeah, and that was yeah. Yeah, a, a, a decent one. And now, this has got the built in. Reverb and chorus, so you don't even have to plug it in. So you can hear that slap back. Stick on the back of the guitar. There is, yeah. yeah. Um, I, I don't know who makes that device. I've seen it on YouTube. My only concern is I, I'm sure you can really stick it anywhere where it's not going to be in the way. Yeah. Um, I'm, I don't think it'll be a way if you sit like this because it'll be to the back, but if you sit in a classical guitar yeah. position, then it might, you know. Or even if you stand up, it's still going to, you know, hit up against you. So yeah, that is the Yamaha. That's a neat feature. That is a nice feature because if you know, you can still plug it in, but let's say you just like the, the sound of the wood mm -hmm. out of the sound hole, and then you got that extra, you know, feature where you could get your reverb and yeah. of course out of the sound hole because you know, different effect. It's yeah, exactly. Different yeah, it's a different effect. Because no matter what you plug in, it it never really sounds like a guitar being mic'd, you know, when you plug it in, it's like you just, it's the only ones that do, I'll tell you, 